What's up guys, Ninth Jim here bringing another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. Today we're going to be talking about Excelgore, an interesting bug type Pokemon from, I don't know what Gen 5 I think, maybe 6. This Pokemon's really fast, it has a couple of really cool things that it can do. First off it has Unburden, which is an awesome ability, which whenever your held item is consumed, you double in speed. Very very powerful, especially with such an insane speed Pokemon in general speed 145 as a base stat is kind of nuts and then when you pair that with oh double it you know this pokemon's crazy this pokemon is very 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 powerful now there is a couple of shortcomings with this pokemon first off it doesn't have access to a great move pool to take advantage of double speed of being such an insanely fast pokemon in general it does have access to a couple of really interesting things. Uh, a couple that we're going to be talking about is Acid Spray, essentially being a fake tears that does a little bit of damage. And then also Final Gambit, which just deals your health into your opponent's health, which is solid. However, we don't have amazing, amazing health, so, you know, it is what it is. This Pokemon... When at face value, this Pokemon is pretty weak. It has very low stats across the board, bug typing, which isn't very great for offensive or defensive, a pretty mediocre move pool. Now, there's a couple of good attacks on Corian. This Pokemon has good support moves. Do you want to use them, though, is the big question. Um, maybe. That's my answer. Maybe. You know, depending on the rest of your team, if you don't have, like, a Yawn user, if you're not using Yawn on a Gastrodon or a Togekiss or Sleep Powder on Butterfree or anything, yeah, sure. Yawn could be good. You can just shut off Dynamaxes. That's pretty solid. Um, although you do have a couple of things that you have to look out for then, you know, Prankster Whimsicott Taunt, Prankster Grimmsnarl Taunt, a couple of things. Even though you are fastest, you don't beat out priority, so that's pretty unfortunate, but it is what it is, you know? That's how, how it be. So anyway, we're going to talk about our bug typing, I guess. Resist, grass, fight, and ground. Ground is pretty relevant. Grass is pretty relevant. Fighting is not as relevant. However, you'll have a couple of random things every now and again, like a max knuckle off of a Duraludon or a max knuckle off of, um, like, a Reuniclus. You know, focus blast off Reuniclus. You know, a couple of things. Fighting is there, but we resist it. So that's good. And then we also have weaknesses to fire, flying, and rock, which is pretty solid. Um, it's not great. All those Pokemon are prevalent. You know, we have Tyranitar with Rock Slide. Same with Excadrill having Rock Slide. Braviary, Corviknight, uh, Togekiss with Air Slash, and Brave Birds. Charizard with Air Slash. Charizard with Fire. You know, Fire Blast, uh, Flamethrower, whatever it is. Fire Blast on Togekiss, Flamethrower. Um, special Dragapult. All these Pokemon do have access to all these attacks, and there's going to be a good bit of Pokemon that kind of threaten Excelgore. However, if you are using Excelgore, you really want to place your Poke. You really want to position Excelgore against a Pokemon that doesn't super effective it. I know that's kind of the whole goal of every Pokemon. However, it's really important with this Pokemon since we're so frail. We get to bring him in and acid spray something essentially fake tears it partner it with something like a sylveon a togekiss a special dragapult something like that that can take advantage of the minus two special defense and just start sweeping really really heavily excel gore lives one or two attacks you get off your max speed um acid spray and that's kind of the game plan with with excel gore here so into our stats 145 speed is insane that that's really the whole thing about excel gore fast Super fast boy, we fast boy. Um, I'd say the real thing there, but I can't. Anyway, special attack at 100. If you didn't get what I just said, just ignore it. If you're at 100, special attack is pretty solid. We're not investing into a special attack because HP at 252 actually helps us level a couple of random things. However, and, and we want to be on the field for a little while. Like we were saying, Acid Spray is the biggest thing about us and Final Gambit, and both of those don't really measure our sp our special attack very much you know acid spray does a little bit of damage but it's very very minimal so it's worth more to just invest into our hp um talking about our bulk yikes 80 hp is not the worst i mean that's a little above average potentially or about average but 40 defense is pretty oof and special defense is 60 which is also under average both are not very good. We're not taking a lot of attacks. However, Psychic Seed does help us a little bit whenever we're under 
the psychic surge, which is kind of the whole point. You psychic surge, psychic seed is eaten, now you're unburdened. However, psychic seed also gives us a 1.5 times into our special offense, which is pretty relevant. You know, it can help us live some some good special attack attacks. We can use things like Charizard, Choice Specs, um, Dragapult, things like that, that we're just going to be getting hit pretty hard on uh, special attacks. And that's what we want. We'd rather them hit us with special attacks, like a Togekiss Air Slash. We'd ra way rather take that than a Brave Bird by a Braviary, because that's killing us every time. So, yeah, stats pretty weak overall. Solid special attack, above average by a lot speed. 145 speed is crazy. That's kind of the selling point of this Pokemon. Anyway, into our build here, we have Unburden Ability. Doubling our speed, very powerful. Psychic Seed, essentially allowing us to double our speed with Ndidi. Pretty powerful. And either Ndidi is a good partner. Um, I see female a lot more in the meta just because access to follow me is very good. Psychic is powerful, although Psychic will be on either Pokemon. You have access to things like D Dazzling Gleam as well to uh, take more advantage of your Acid Spray as well. Which is pretty solid. So, yeah, those are great partners for that. And then into our build, we actually have Final Gambit and Acid Spray. Those are the main two attacks. We have Bug Buzz as well for our, for our stab move. Pretty solid. And then we also have Water Shuriken, which gives us priority. It's essentially a quick attack, you know, for us, but a water-type quick attack, which is okay. Um, it is priority, which is needed for certain stuff. If they, if they set Trick Room, we are never attacking first. So... Water Shuriken is decent. And then we also have, um, against things like Whimsicott, if you hit it down to its Sash, you can Water Shuriken and then you're killing. Because uh, they'll only have plus one speed priority and ours will be plus one. So we'll outspeed them since we're faster anyway. And then we also have a couple of flex moves. Energy Ball, I like a lot. That could probably change out for Bug Buzz potentially. Um, there's just not too much in, in the meta where Bug Buzz really gets there. So I could definitely believe Energy Ball is fine in there. However, yeah, Energy Ball is a good spot uh, carrier. It's good against a lot of things. Rhyperior, Gastrodon, two, the main two that come to mind. Although you don't want to proc the weakness policy on Rhyperior. However, it's still good to hit it. You have to kill it eventually. So hitting it with two super effective attacks at the same time before it can attack is the best way to go. And this Pokemon is going to hit before it if Trick Room is not set. So that's pretty relevant. However... Focus Blast is another good option here, um, being a very high power move and fighting spread is pretty solid. It helps you with your rock weakness at that, at that Tyranitar. Hitting Tyranitar is really powerful. We're also Focus Blast. We would outspeed um, Sand Stone or Sand Rush Excadrill, which is pretty powerful. That usually you you think, oh, nothing can outspeed me. Well, Excelgor does by a lot. He's very very fast. However. Being in against those Pokemon is pretty scary in general. You probably won't kill with a Focus Blast. Actually, let me go ahead and run that calc real quick. Tyranitar. Focus Blast. We're hitting 70 to 84%. So we're not Okoing in sand. It's because of the sand. Um, but what about you, Excadrill? Still not Okoing. 70 to 82%. So, yeah, we're not killing. So, the biggest thing is that you want to position this Pokemon correctly against things that it won't take much damage, preferably resists. Um, other than that, yeah, you want to position him correctly so that you can just get in Acid Sprays. This Pokemon seems like it should be your Sweeper, but honestly, it's more of a support Pokemon. You Acid Spray a few times, and then you just Final Gambit, and you're like, okay, well, did I do enough work? Maybe. You know? Uh, and then we also have access to Encore and Yawn, which are both pretty powerful in their own right. Encore can just hit something like a Trick Room, which is very, very good. Trick Room user, something that you don't really care about, something that's using a support move. You you Encore them, and then they're like doing that over and over. they got to switch out. It's pretty good. And then we also have Yawn, which is good. It hits Dynamax Pokemon. Uh, it is the best out to a Dynamax Pokemon, in my opinion, is Sleeping Them. Yawn being the secondary best one, you know, Sleep Powder is better, but we don't learn Sleep Powder, and it's also way less accurate. Yawn has 100, I believe, so that's pretty relevant. Anyway, into our investments here, we maxed our HP and maxed our speed. Speed is relevant for a few things. We'll talk about speed tiers here in a moment, but at max 252 plus a nature that gives you plus speed, 
and we're using timid so we're minus attack since we don't have any actual attack moves plus so 252 plus in the speed there's actually nothing in the game that can outspeed you on turn one which is very relevant there are a few things that can outspeed you with tailwind but nothing really is used with tailwind like unburden halucha and dd has to pop that or sylveon has to pop that the weakness policy or psychic seed on halucha so they're not going to be running tailwind halucha that's one of the only things that can outspeed you actually which is pretty crazy or a couple of things under scarf and tailwind you know a few things it's very low um and i believe darmanitan gets to 216 with is that right so scarf darmanitan Actually, he gets the 241, so Scarf, Darmanitan, Tailwind kills us, or outspeeds us, and will kill us, um, because of Flare Blitz. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much here, that's pretty much it for this first build, or the only build that I have. We'll talk about some speed tiers here. So, as far as speed tiers, yeah, I mean, I don't have very many for this slide, because we're so fast! 432, Excel Gore, positive 252, Unburden, you get so incredibly fast you hit 216 without any buffs and then unburden just doubles it boom 432 nuts you outspeed everything i even have one that they didn't even have on the calculator on the speed tier 426 tailwind boosted dragapult this is max invested dragapult two times because of tailwind that's like a prankster tailwind it's like so if they open whimsicott tail or whimsicott drake of dragapult if i could talk if I could talk, um, Whimsicott, Dragapult, they set up Tailwind, they attack with Dragapult, you still hit first. That's really it. You can hit with Acid Spray and then use your uh, partner Pokemon, have Ndidi Dazzling Gleam them or something. I've said that a few times. Let me fact check this because everybody is going to go nuts in the comments if I don't. Ndidi. I think it gets Dazzling Gleam. It does. Dazzling Gleam away. You kill that boy. We acid spray and we kill that boy. You know how it goes. Anyway, and then we also outspeed Barrascuta in Swift Swim, which is the other commonly fastest Pokemon. You can't outspeed my guy. We kill it. Just get out of here, buddy. No, we probably aren't killing it, but Acid Spray is very powerful, and Barrascuta doesn't have anything that just kills us. We are in a good position against Barrascuta. Um, like I said, positioning is key with this Pokemon. You want to position yourself in a, in a platform where you can get an Acid Spray, a couple off, potentially Acid Spray, Acid Spray, Final Gambit. And then this Pokemon did enough work to justify its placement on your team, in my opinion. And definitely play around with this Pokemon a bunch. Uh, it has some interesting things here. We can Yawn, uh, Fast Yawn, Fast Final Gambit, Fast Acid Spray. All these are really powerful. However, they have to be used 100% correctly on the 100% correct team to be brought to justice. Otherwise, you're kind of just doing nothing with this Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to give it to, straight to you, Doctor. You, you don't want to use this Pokemon if it's not going to do much for you. You know, why would you want to use any Pokemon if it's not going to really get you there at all? You know what I mean? Anyway, um, we also outspeed Halucha, positive 252 on Burden. Get out of here, buddy. Although, Halucha is scary. Max Airstream is going to kill us. So, you know, you get one attack. You can Acid Spray it and then kill it, which is good. Especially if it pops its own weakness policy with Sylveon. It's targeting down your Excelgore. Or it could target down your Ndidi or whatever, you know. But then you're getting an Acid Spray off on it. And then you're Final Gambiting it and it's dead. I think. I think Final Gambit works that way. I'm trying to... Actually, you know what? Final Gambit does damage equal to the user's HP and then user faints. So it's not going to do an insane. It's not percentage. It'll do 187 if you haven't taken damage yet. Which is good. You know, but it won't kill a Dynamax Talucha. So, you Acid Spray it. You hope they target down your your guy, your Excel Gore, And then you hit it with a Dazzling Gleam. It's a dead, that's a dead boy. You know what I'm saying? That guy's dead. So that's kind of what you want to do. Against certain Pokemon, you want to position yourself in the position where you can take advantage of the Acid Spray and trade your Bar your Excelgore for like a Dynamax Pokemon or just a really 
hard to deal with Pokemon on your team, and then the rest of your team just sweeps, takes it from there. Just ch 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 get it out of here. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, and then Dragapult, even after a Dragon Dance or a Scarf Dragapult, you still are outspeeding easily. So, yeah. I mean, but if they Tailwind with a Scarf or a Dragon Dance, they're outspeeding us. Next turn or that turn with Scarf, you know. Yeah. So, that's a thing. Anyway, on to the next slide here. We have um, our Damage Calcs. These are a little weird. So, what's up, Excel Gore? So, a couple of things. You're frail. Even at max HP. So, the max HP helps us live some attacks, but it also helps us do more damage off of the final gambit. And our special attack is not that high anyway. Or, like, it's good, but we're not doing a lot of damage off of it anyway. So, yeah. Um, anyway, Braviary. That's not a Pokemon you want to be against. It's killing you. Max Airstream, 252, not even plus, not even adamant. It's Jolly. 252 Jolly attack Braviary Max Airstream dead Super dead even if you Dynamax you're dead don't Dynamax this Pokemon usually um, Because like I said acid spray is is the thing final gambit is the thing yawn is is a thing we want to be Supporting our team supporting the rest of our team and then we also have 252 This one is adamant attack Tyranitar rock slide still killing us 115 to 135. This is our max HP Excel gore you're dead to these things, you know, these things are killing you. Um, now, here is a couple of relevant things here. So, Bug Buzz is doing 57 to 68 on a pretty defensive Rotom cut. That's pretty solid, you know, pretty good damage. However, if it's Citrus Berry, there's only a like a 50% chance to kill it through Citrus Berry to two-turn kill it. So, I mean, you know, how powerful is that? However, after an Acid Spray... Bug Buzz is doing 114 to 135 into a fairly defensive Rotom. Now, this is a bold Rotom, so it's more defensive than than special defensive. However, Acid Spray gets it, you know? And Rotom Cut is not going to be dealing a lot of damage to us anyway. You know, Thunder is, or Thunderbolt it does like 30 40%. We outspeed, so we get to hit that Acid Spray. And then next turn, go in for a Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz. Really, really powerful. However... If you want to use this Pokemon in a different way, we can use Energy Ball in that spot. Now, you could definitely switch it out for Water Shuriken as well, running Final Gambit, Acid Spray, Energy Ball, Bug Buzz. Definitely. You know? Definitely. If you're not scared of Trick Room, or if you already have Trick Room outs, if you don't plan on bringing this Pokemon into a Trick Room matchup anyway, which is probably correct, Energy Ball very powerful you get to hit this is after an acid spray so you acid spray the gastrodon and then you hit it with energy ball at four special attack investment so we're plus one excel gore and not plus one we're plus one ev we're plus one stat point not plus one stats overall got to clarify that energy ball into that gastrodon fairly defensive 244 hp 88 special defense 134 to 160 percent you're dead this is another Pokemon we want to position ourselves against. Earth Power, we resist. Uh, Scald, we resist. This is the kind of Pokemon you want to position yourself against and then slap it around. You give it an Acid Spray and, you, and an Energy Ball and that boy's dead. You, you just slap it around. Now, this is a, a lot of setup for this Pokemon to be able to take a big knockouts. I know it's, it's probably... You know, you're not going to want to play this Pokemon on every team. You're going to want to play it on, you know, a couple of teams. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really it. That's all I got for Excel Gore. Uh, Acid Spray is sweet. Yawn is sweet. Final Gambit is sweet. You know, all of these things are pretty solid. Um, this Pokemon is fast, super fast. You get to attack, hopefully live a hit. You want to position this, Poke this Pokemon in the placement where it will take a hit you get two attacks off you get an acid spray and a knockout and then potentially even a final gambit if you play it 100 percent correctly so that's really all i have for this guy today yeah that's really it um thank you so much for watching play test this guy he's pretty sweet uh play it on the correct team though if you, you the rest of your team doesn't support it hey this guy's doing nothing you know and, and i gotta give it straight um, for that because I don't I don't want to misinform you guys and make this guy seem crazy because it's super fast It's really frail and doesn't really do that much damage before an acid spray You know 
that's really it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below if you want to see a different guy. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Boom. Thanks. Have a good day.